Certain questions tend to come up again and again in the world of real-time TCR. One of these was recently phrased perfectly by Stephanie at the University of Delaware when she asked me the following question. What's the difference between singleplex and duplex PCR setup and what are the advantages and disadvantages of each? I'll start with a quick word on definitions. Singleplex refers to amplifying just one target sequence per well. So for someone doing, say, a gene expression experiment using one target gene and one normalizer gene, these two assays are added to separate wells. But in duplex reactions, both assays are added to the same well and thus amplify their respective sites simultaneously while drawing on a common pool of shared reagents. In a duplex scenario, the real-time instrument needs to somehow track the separate amplification events of the two genes, meaning the two assays have to be labeled differently. But clearly, cybergreen chemistry isn't a good choice, since it's merely a single dye. But with TACMAN, the two targets can easily be labeled with different fluorophores, a FAM and VIC, for example, which any light technologies instrument can distinguish. To set up a plate of multiplexing in any real-time software, just select your wells, then go over to your list of assays and click on both the FAM and VIC targets. Easy. So what are the advantages of duplexing? Well, I'll mention the two most common reasons that researchers go this route. First and foremost, money. If someone can essentially cut his or her reactions in half, that saves 50% in reagents. Fair enough. Second reason, better precision in gene expression experiments. In other words, if the target gene and normalizer are in the same tube, it won't matter if the volume of sample that's pipetted is a bit off among replicates as long as delta CT values are calculated by normalizing the target CT to the normalizer CT for each well individually. Taking this approach leads to delta CT values among replicates being highly precise, meaning the average delta CT can be expressed with great confidence. Just keep in mind that since qPCR should generally be run using identical triplicate reactions, even single-plex experiments have a built-in test for the precision of pipetting. To put it another way, multiplexing is rarely, if ever, mandatory. But it can certainly be dangerous due to the competition among assays for common reagents and the negative effect that that can have on data. That's why everyone interested in multiplexing should have a look at my Ask TACMAN video on optimizing their experiments before attempting this technique. Also, please download the application note entitled Factors Influencing Multiplex Real-Time PCR from the LifeTech website and learn more about the benefits and dangers of multiplexing. Do you have a real-time PCR question? Just ask TACMAN. Ask us on Twitter using the hashtag AskTACMAN, hit us up on Facebook, or go visit lifetechnologies.com forward slash AskTACMAN. Thank you.